Hey guys, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and we are going on a road trip. So as you're going to see here in a minute, we have a very small grocery list this week because we are going on a road trip to New York this weekend. We are leaving on Wednesday and coming back on Sunday. So I only planned like two or three meals for home. That way we don't have a whole lot of leftovers. And a lot of the stuff that I bought we are bringing with us, like snacks, breakfast foods, a couple of things for dinner, and some of the other things that we're gonna eat, I'm going to buy when we're there. So what you're gonna see here in a minute is not like a full week's menu. It's just a couple of random little things here and there. And also, I'm not sure when I'm going to do another grocery post because I've got something really huge planned for the month of December. You will find out more about it on Wednesday. But if you don't see any of my grocery hauls for the next couple weeks, don't freak out. I will be posting pictures of my grocery hauls and stuff like on Instagram and in my new Facebook group, which you'll find out more about here in a little bit. So keep an eye out. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook if you want to see like pictures of what I bought because I don't think I'm going to have time to make a post and a video each week for these grocery hauls. So with all that being said, let me show you what I bought this week. I had decided to run into Kroger real quick to see if any of the stuff that's on my list is cheaper here than at Walmart, and I was correct, so I picked up just a couple of things. And the first thing is this three pound roll of ground beef. Now, spoiler alert, I am making meatloaf, and it is going to be part of something special that's coming up next week, so get ready for that. That's gonna be pretty exciting. Also, peanut butter. Now, peanut butter at Kroger is so much cheaper than anywhere else, especially their natural. Now their natural peanut butter, it has only peanuts and salt, which is what I like to buy. I don't like the peanut butter with like the extra sugar in it. So these were $1.79. Walmart does not have a great value brand of natural peanut butter. The closest they have is, I forget which brand it is, but it's like $2.89. So compare that with $1.79, and yes, I would like to buy a couple of these. Also, I bought two bags of M&Ms. Now, one of them is for another project that I'll be doing in the next week or so. And then another one is to take with us on our trip. We are going to New York on vacation for Thanksgiving weekend. I wanted to buy a couple of special little things. Now, the peanut butter is part of it. We're having peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for lunch, and we're staying with family, so just easy lunches. And then one of these bags of M&Ms we're just using for like a movie night. We're gonna make some popcorn, have M&Ms, watch a movie, it's gonna be awesome. So this is my Kroger trip. I didn't spend a whole lot here because I knew I'd be going to Walmart later in the week, but it was a little bit cheaper here. This run to Mr. Max was purely a snack run, as you can see. And before you guys judge, let me just say that we are going to be away from home for five days. We're going to be living in a house with nine people total. So five of them are kids and we need snacks to placate us during the road trip, the eight hour car drive and the other days that are there. So, I mean, really, it could be worse. So let me show you what I got. I bought three of these epic bars for myself because I was out. I'm addicted to these things. It's like beef jerky, but it's much softer. So I got three of those. I bought some Lara bars. These chocolate hazelnut swirl are really good. And this is only $2 for a five pack. I also have one of these big bags of the Boom Chicka Pop popcorn. There are 12 bags total. So you got the sea salt and then the sweet and salty kettle corn. So these will be good snacks. We're gonna be eating like a lot of sandwiches for lunch, so that will be helpful. I also got four packages of the mini Oreos, just as little treats. These are for me and John to try. They're only 35 cents. This is a cookie dough oatmeal bar, 10 grams of protein. Um, they look like a nice little treat or dessert, so I will be happy to try those. And then also I bought a six pack of the Back to Nature chocolate chunk cookies. Those would be good little treats for our lunches. Like I said, we're packing like peanut butter and jelly and deli sandwiches, stuff like that. So we're gonna try to eat cheaply while we're there so we don't have to eat out all the time. So really, this was not a very bad trip. We're gonna take all of this on the road with us. 
I have a somewhat smaller Walmart trip this week because we're going to be doing more of our grocery shopping once we're in New York. But I wanted to show you the stuff that I bought now. Most of this we're taking with us. And the first thing that I bought was some Black Forest ham. I bought two packages of these and these are going with us on the trip. We are getting to New York on Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. And then Thanksgiving Day, there's probably going to be nothing open. So I wanted to make sure we had stuff for sandwiches. And actually, I just realized that uh, I ordered some sliced cheese, but I don't see it. I'll have to check and see if it's if I somehow didn't add it to the list. We'll have to see. Anyway, um, I bought some uh, sweetener packets. We were just about out of those. And the place where we're staying, it says it has a coffee maker, but I wasn't sure whether it was a Keurig or just a standard coffee maker. So I bought a small can of Folgers French Vanilla to take with us. I cannot go without my coffee. I bought some Parmesan cheese. We are having spaghetti on Thursday night. Um, this was one of the substitutions, actually. I ordered the Great Value, and I got substituted with the Kraft. No big deal. Um, two jars of spaghetti sauce, and then with it, two boxes of spaghetti. We're feeding nine people, so that should be enough. I bought some... Earth Balance Butter. This is a vegan butter. I am making a vegan dessert on Thanksgiving. Um, I'm doing brownies, peanut butter brownies, so that will go in it. I bought some Welch's Natural Strawberry Jelly. This is going to go with all the peanut butter that I bought at Kroger. We're just taking along a bunch of peanut butter and jelly. Um, you won't see it in this video, but I'm going to the bread outlet store to buy a whole bunch of loaves of bread. We're going to take all that with us as well. I also bought some maple and brown sugar instant oatmeal packets. We will be eating that while we're at the house there. I just bought a few little cups of Greek yogurt just to hold me over until we leave. Eat these as desserts. Um, cottage cheese, same thing. I wanted to have a little bit of this to eat uh, before we leave. Some strawberries. We were out and... Allison won't eat any other kind of fruit, so just enough of this to last her until we leave too. The grapes we are taking with us to eat as snacks and probably as side items to go with the sandwiches. We are out of gum, so I bought some more of the extra cinnamon gum. And then hot dog buns. I'm being very cheap with our meals for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday before we leave, trying not to have any leftovers left. Um, but I bought some chicken hot dogs a couple weeks ago at my grocery outlet store. So we're just going to have some hot dogs. So that's what these are for. But yeah, small haul today. Um, I will be right back with the total to let you know whether I forgot the sliced cheese or not. So it turns out it was my mistake. Something happened when I tried to order the sliced cheese. Either I didn't hit the button or maybe I just totally forgot to order it. But anyway, I'm going to have to go buy some sliced cheese. Um, but our total for the week is $59.70 and we have $30 left in the budget to buy other things like when we get to New York. So it's a small grocery haul for this week, but we are buying more later. So let me show you the meal plan for this week. Alrighty, let's go over our meal plan for the week. So earlier, I think a couple weeks ago, I bought some chicken hot dogs from my grocery outlet store. So I bought some hot dog buns. I'm gonna get those hot dogs out of the freezer. I just want something easy for like the first few days this week, something that won't make a whole lot of leftovers. So this one will not. I'm gonna find like random bags of frozen vegetables or something in the freezer that I can use as side items. So Sunday is the chicken hot dogs. Monday, I'm making quesadillas. We have some leftover tortilla shells from the lentil burritos that I made from our Dollar Tree meals. If you have not seen that video yet, I'm going to link it below because this video, I mean, it shows you three different meals you can make from Dollar Tree. So if you're looking for ideas, check it out. But I'm going to use those tortillas and I don't know if I'm going to use some more lentils because I have some more in the pantry. I might use black beans. I can always cook some of those. I don't know yet. But quesadilla is definitely on the menu. Tuesday is like clean out your fridge day. 
you know, whatever leftovers we have. I just want to get it out of the fridge so that way when we leave on Wednesday, I don't have to worry about coming home to rotten food. Wednesday is when we start traveling. We're not going to get there until about 4 o'clock, so we will be eating lunch out on the road. We already planned for that. Uh, we are sharing a house with our family, so there's going to be nine of us in the house all together. Um, we also figured we're going to be too tired to cook. Um, the stores are going to be filled with people doing their pre-Thanksgiving shopping, so we're ordering up pizza. Thursday is actually Thanksgiving Day. Now, we're not having our Thanksgiving dinner until Friday. So Thursday, I bought all the stuff to make spaghetti because we figured all, none of the stores are going to be open on Thanksgiving Day. So we bought all that stuff. We're going to make spaghetti for dinner. Um, we're going to have a movie night that night, probably bringing some popcorn and candy. It's going to be an awesome time. So Friday is our Thanksgiving. I am making some vegan peanut butter brownies for dessert. So that'll be my contribution. It's going to be an amazing day. I love Thanksgiving. I, I just love to eat in general. <laughs> Uh, Saturday, we're going to be going shopping probably Friday morning. We're going to try to beat the Black Friday crowd. Although, do you think that grocery stores will be packed on Black Friday? I don't think so, but we're going to go shopping. Now, I don't know if you guys have a Wegmans in your area, but every time I travel up to New York, I have to go to Wegmans because it's not just a grocery store, like it's an experience. So I'm going to go see what I can find, um, do a little bit of grocery shopping. Because Saturday, we're going to make some chicken nuggets. There are five kids in the house that are going to be with us, and we wanted to find some kid-friendly stuff that we knew they would eat that was pretty easy. So chicken nuggets it is. We might find some other stuff at the store that they might like as well. We don't know yet, but chicken nuggets for sure. So for breakfast, as if I didn't have enough on my plate, I'm making couple loaves of cinnamon raisin bread. I will have a link to the recipe down below, but we love this bread. Now Wegmans actually used to make their own cinnamon bread, and I used to get a couple loaves of it every time I go up to Wegmans, but they don't sell it anymore apparently. So I have a recipe now that tastes just like it. Like, I think it tastes just like it. So I'm making a couple of loaves to take up with us for breakfast. I bought some instant oatmeal packets, so we'll have some oatmeal available. I'm, I'm going to try to travel with eggs. We have a big cooler. Uh, it's, it's a hard cooler, so maybe we can fit the eggs in there and hopefully they won't crack. So we'll, we're going to try it and see. I think also we're going to have some cinnamon rolls there as well. But as far as lunches go, I bought deli meat. I need to buy some sliced cheese before we leave, but we'll have deli meat and cheese sandwiches, peanut butter and jelly. I bought a whole bunch of snacks from the, the grocery outlet store, as you saw earlier. And then also if there are any leftovers, which there might be, we'll have that as well. So we have a very simple menu this week. Next week, I'm pretty excited because I'm going to use grocery Walmart pickup on Sunday morning, I think I'm gonna go ahead and place my order. And so when I get home on Sunday evening, I will have all my groceries ready to be picked up. I don't have to spend an hour at the store on a Sunday evening getting all my groceries. It's going to be amazing. So this concludes our meal plan for the week. So hopefully that'll be enough food to last us for the beginning of the week and then towards the end of the week as well. I might try to post pictures of some of the other stuff that I bought. But if you like that meal planner that I was using, you can find a link to it in the description below. It's totally free to download. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for any other updates, including my grocery hauls, my recipes, uh, what I fed my kindergartner this week. Just remember, I probably won't have any more grocery hauls for a couple weeks just because of my secret project. So check back on Wednesday for a new video about that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you later.